everyone, welcome back. So today's video, we're going to be making over my guest bedroom space here. It is starting on a complete blank slate. Previously, the kind of decor that was in here was something that I had been using over the last 10 years and I'm just quite frankly was tired of it. I had really dark curtains, I had very dark bedding, there's dark furniture in here, and this is a very small little room. And so it was just too much. And so we are gonna kinda do a nod to French country today. I'm a little bit cottage, really cozy, um, you know, just kind of like my own style, really, but I really want to brighten it up. We're going to do a lot of neutrals, some pops of green, and so let's get into this. So first, we're going to start by making the bed because I feel like it just will be a more pleasant viewing experience if the bed is made. The sheets that I bought for this bed are from Target. They are the Threshold brand. I've already washed them, so let's not judge the slightly wrinkled edges here. You're never going to see that when the bed's made. Um, but they laundered up really well. They're a beautiful gray, and they have what to me just feels very cottage, very French country. They have a white flower uh, kind of motif here on them. And I would say these kind of fall in more of like a taupey gray. They're not too cool. And so they actually, because of that taupe, the little bit of brown mixed in with this gray, it actually works really well with the beige walls I have in this room. So let's make the bed. Okay, and for the bed spread, I actually bought this at Target as well. I think around the same time period, if not a week or two apart. And it kind of is a little bit of that shabby chic, if you will. I wanted some sort of quilt, and I love ruffles. I think that adds just a little bit of femininity and just kind of makes it a little bit more of that whimsical factor I like to incorporate in my home. And it matches the bedding perfectly. Once again, this is kind of like a taupey gray. It doesn't lean too cool of a gray and so it works really well if you have more of like a warmer neutral toned wall in your house so let's add this And then I'm just gonna put this little decorative throw pillow that I got from Kirkland's in the middle of the bed. All right, so I have this chenille, um, I guess you could call it like a comforter. My mom gave this to me, and this is something that she picked up at a gift shop years ago. And I think even at that point, it was older. I don't know if you can still get your hands on things like this, but I often like to do a decorative throw at the end of the bed. I just think it's a nice layering effect. I love to add in more neutrals upon neutrals. I really like to layer my bed. It's a little bit of extra work. <laughs> I'm actually out of breath. Um, but I think the end result is very beautiful. And then if you did want to just take a nap on the bed, you already have your blanket draped on the end. So we're gonna throw this kind of chenille blanket on the end here. Okay, so the bed is made and it is just screaming for some artwork above the bed here. And I found this sign at Kirkland's. It says, love builds a happy home. I love the script. I love the little bit of wood details that they have on here. And then of course, the frame itself has some gray tones. So it's gonna go beautifully above the bed and really play up the bedding. So let's get this hung. Okay, 
so now we've arrived, the bed is made, and we are over here on this side of the bedroom. I've already taken the liberty to ask my husband to hang this mirror. Um, I went with a mirror because it's a very small room. Now the opposing wall has a dresser with a mirror as well, but that actually really helps bounce the light around and kind of create the illusion of a bigger room than it indeed is. This is probably about your typical standard bedroom size room. I think it's about 11 and a half by 10 feet. So with a queen size bed and dresser and all that, it is a bit tight. So adding this mirror really helps bounce the light around. <laughs> case in point. Uh, this mirror reflects light over there and then of course when we have the light coming in from the sun in the morning it just makes this room feel really nice. So there's a little bit of a close-up of the mirror. It actually has some bronze qualities to it, some details. I thought about painting this mirror because I'm, I wasn't really in love with it anymore but it actually works really well in here with the whole French country slightly Tuscan look that I'm trying to incorporate in. Okay, so in the center of this mirror here, I have hung a command strip with a clear hook. I went with clear because in case the wreath doesn't completely conceal it, um, then it's not noticeable. So I'm gonna show you the wreath that I found at At Home. Okay, so I knew I wanted to bring in earth, natural elements. I love creams and whites and greens. I thought this was very springy. It's very natural looking. This, as I said, was from At Home. I want to say it was around the $20 price point. I love all the twigs going on with it, and I think it's going to look beautiful on this mirror. And this one actually comes with a hook on the back of it. I love when that happens. What I would put on either side of the mirror are some sconces and I found these sconces at Hobby Lobby and they match, oh, let me get that pillow. Do they not go absolutely perfect with this sheet set? I actually found these sheets after I had purchased these sconces. And I absolutely love, like I just give myself a little pat on the back when you find something that goes perfect with your vision or what you've already started doing at a completely different store, a completely different time of the year. Um, so I picked up two of these and I'm gonna put one on either side. I like symmetry. Um, I don't always need symmetry, but I feel like sconces, you know, if you're gonna do two, I like them on either side. So let's hang these. And if you haven't noticed, for the sake of time, I have already put in the nails. I'm also going to let you in on another little secret. I am terrible at hanging things. I will make five holes before I finally reach the sixth one, which is the correct height. Just ask my husband. Okay, and of course we're going to put some LED candles. I bought a set of these off of Amazon. I will link them below. They come with a remote, so you can put these on a timer. You can change the type of light in them. There's just a lot of options, and I think for a guest room, it's kind of fun to have these come on at nighttime. The ambiance that it creates is gorgeous. And finally on this wall, I am going to hang this welcome sign because I think it's very fitting for the atmosphere of the room. And it kind of gives a little bit more detail above the mirror rather than just kind of stopping. I just thought it kind of drew the eyes up a little bit. And I love to incorporate, I just love signs and I love things that say encouraging things. And so let's get this hung. I'm just going to show you this sign because there's not really much to decorate on this wall, but I hung it beneath the television so when you're laying in bed you can be reminded to make yourself at home here. And this sign is from Target and I believe it is from the Hearth and Hand company, the Magnolia Hearth and Hand at Target. So now we're going to come over to the main part for decorating and we are going to do this wall and this has the dresser. Okay, so I'm going to lay this beautiful little lace runner on the top of the dresser first. I really am big on runners. 
I just like the texture that it adds and the interest and I don't know I just think I just I'm not a person that likes just a plain lamp on top of furniture I just think it needs just a little something that is from Hobby Lobby and you can still get that this year even though I bought that last year Next, I found these gorgeous lamps. They have a little bit of like a gray rustic thing going on here and the shade is just white. And here comes Olaf. He's already been kicked out a few times, but let's just ignore him. If he starts to make too much of a mess, we might, we might have to kick him out. Anyways, I have two of these and I'm gonna put one on either end of the dresser. These are actually a three-way bulb as well, so it gives you options for lighting. I'm huge on options for lighting. I, I actually honestly can't stand this overhead light, but we have it on so that you can actually see me here today. Um, but I have two of these. They're both from Home Goods, and I'm gonna put them on either side of the dresser. Okay, so we're gonna start off in the center of the dresser with this little chippy window. I purchased this from Kirkland's and I'm gonna set it right in the middle here for a little bit of background. Like this is kind of our background setting the scene kind of thing. I love that I have a little ledge here. This is actually our old bedroom set. We've since got a king size bed and this was the bed that we had for the first like, oh my gosh, nine years of our marriage and so I actually used to keep my nail polishes on that little ledge so we've come a long way in as far as like decorating is concerned it was like the only place I had in my house to keep the nail polish away from very little children now we're gonna build some varying heights and interest and I bought this at Hobby Lobby I think it could actually be a plant stand if you wanted it to be I don't know sounds like it's some sort of ceramic or something slightly breakable so bear that in mind it's not resin but I thought it was perfect for that little French country you know it looks old and I like that and we're gonna set this right in the center here so recently you saw this in a French country haul that I did here about a month or so ago and this is from Michaels the um, hydrangeas I think these are hydrangeas are from home goods they're very kind of like rustic looking and then these little greenery picks are from Hobby Lobby so what I did was I actually bought one of those little foam styrofoam things put that in the bottom of here and cut my stems before I had this kind of hanging just loosely Olaf before I had this hanging kind of loosely and it was kind of a hot mess and so I went and bought one of those styrofoam things and that did the trick so we're gonna set this in the center here Next, I have another item that you saw me haul, and it is this beautiful little bird cage. And I decided to put a topiary on the inside, and I had just the topiary in there, but I felt like it needed it needed a mossy bed. So some of that moss I also showed you recently. I'm trying to show you where I put the things that I buy. Um, in the past, I've always just done hauls, and that was it. Um, and now I'm trying to show you, hey, here's what I bought, but here's how I'm, I am incorporating it into my house. So I just stuck a little bit of that in there and I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the left. Yeah, I think that looks cute like that. And I'm not concerned about, you know, maybe the moss just being a little bit off or whatever. I like it to really look natural and lived in because that really just works with my house and you know, kids and pets and all that stuff. So it is going to sit right there. Then I have these really awesome, awesome books that I found at Vintage Market Days. I went to that here in San Antonio with my husband. We had a little date day and I found these books. And so I want to definitely incorporate these into the look. Here's the thing, you can do this with books, you can do this with books, you can display them opened up. And honestly, I've kind of tinkered with how I've de decorated this room a lot and I've come to the conclusion that I like them like this. I love the bind on it. So I'm gonna set these right next to the plant. Also at Vintage Market Days, I picked up this spire and this adorable little bird, completely different vendors, and they just so happen to go perfectly together. So I'm gonna make him a little home inside his cage on the other side of the plant. Mm -hmm. 
Now I have another little topiary and I love this color green. It's more of a bright green and I like to pair this tone of green with the more muted green. I think it looks pretty next to each other and so I'm going to set this kind of next to the books. And then finally I found these cute little birds sitting on a branch here at Hobby Lobby and I just thought that they just kind of went well with the whole theme and I'm going to set them over here. <laughs> this dead space area and I'm gonna be honest the only reason that this is here is to hold our TV antenna and so because of that we're going to add some decorations to kind of disguise the antenna I currently have the antenna stuck behind the TV so we don't have to look at it but when guests come they're gonna have to look at it but for now I'm going to show you a few little things that I got to go on that shelf I'm gonna start off by drawing your eye up and away from you know the cords and all this stuff with this I found this at at home and I thought it was beautiful and it just went perfect with like that French country cottage rustic look it adds a wood element a lighter wood element to the area and so we're gonna hang this above the shelf it is actually hung quite a bit above the shelf because I'm gonna be putting something else tall there and I did not want Want that to hide that so this is almost about even with the television okay next is an arrangement that I made but I'll deconstruct what it is this little pot is from Michaels just got this this spring and so are these hydrangeas um, these green twigs are from Ikea I know they're not from Ikea. I have some from Ikea. They are from Hobby Lobby. I have several different picks. These ones are the brighter green, so it marries really well with the hydrangeas. And then this little pick here has got like little apples on it or something. I love the twigs. If you haven't noticed, I like things that are twiggy and rustic looking. And so I put that in the pot for height and just kind of made my own arrangement. I put one of those styrofoam things in the bottom of this once again. It just really helps the things stand up. Otherwise, they do kind of like to fall over. And I wanted it to look really natural looking. I didn't want it to look too symmetrical or anything. And so I think it looks really pretty. And we're going to set that on the shelf. And then, like I said, I do need room for the TV antenna up there, but I didn't want to leave that completely bare. It looked a little weird, and so I thought I just got this cute little rustic bird that matches that wood cutout perfectly. This is from Hobby Lobby, and it's, oh my gosh, this is so my style. I love it. It's like a little bit chippy, but I don't know. It's so cute. And we're going to set that up on top of the shelf. Right, so we are moving to the last little area in this room that we're going to decorate and that is this table and above it and so we're going to start off with the wall and this was kind of my inspiration piece for this entire room i often say like find something that inspires you and then incorporate it into a space or build a space around that and so this piece i found at hobby or no home goods i get the two confused all the time and this just kind of set the landscape for the colors the tones the look and feel that i wanted in this room and so i'm just going to hang this right above the dresser here i love it i even like that it's a little less rustic because i really like mixing you know, things that kind of look old with things that could be a little bit more polished. All right, now I have this tobacco weave basket. I believe that's what it's called. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is from Michaels. It's that gray tone. It's going to go perfectly with the picture above the bed. And I'm actually going to hang this on the wall. Um, I kind of played around with maybe just setting it behind, but... I, I don't know, I like how it really set, once again, a nice backdrop for this whole look. And so we're going to hang this right below this picture. So I have this beautiful wreath. This one's just a little bit more softer, a little bit more muted. I love the different tones going on with it. And I'm actually going to hang this right in the center of this basket. So I have just a thumbtack. And I'm actually just going to set that in the wall, kind of in the center of the basket, so that this lines up in the center and just hang the wreath right on this.
Okay, now I'm gonna take a matching placemat to the table runner. I bought four of these, and I sometimes use these on my actual table, but sometimes I'll buy even more if I really like something and sprinkle them throughout several tables in the house just for sake of cohesiveness and things kind of all going together. But I'm gonna set this on top of this table. And of course we need another light. I actually love the shape of this one. It's very, very similar, but different to the other two. This one just has the round, um, and the shade is just a little bit more cylindrical, cylind cylindrical? <laughs> what, cylinder, how do you say that word? You know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm gonna set this to the side of the basket, but before I do that, I actually, well, you know, let me just plug it in and turn it on so we can have some more light back here. So this is another find at the Vintage Market Days. It's an old Bible, and it's... Go watch that video if you want to see the story on this, but I just had to have it. I'm going to actually elevate that lamp on this. Um, I found that this wasn't quite enough height, though, so I went into my bookcases, and I found a couple spines that matched the color scheme in here. And so, just... I do that a lot. If you need height somewhere, and if it's somewhere where nobody can see, then this won't matter, but if it's someplace where it's going to be visible, go into your bookshelves and see what kind of spine colors you have that go with your decor. And then this is a great way to elevate something without having to go out and buy something so I'm going to set those lamps on top of these books and I think that looks so cute okay now I have this little beautiful pot I love to incorporate like I said different types of elements whether it be woods metals pottery I just like to mix and match all different kinds of textures this is from Hobby Lobby I believe I got this in the spring section yes I did it was $10, but then there was 40% off of that, so, you know, dirt cheap. And then they had this um, garden ball, which embodies the whole theme of this room as well, like, you know, nature and country and cottage, and I'm just going to stick this in there and kind of set this next to the lamp. And the last thing that I'm going to be adding to that table is this beautiful cloche. I ordered this off of Amazon, and then I just threw a little bit of moss in there, and that's it. I just love the simplicity of this. If I had a little bird or some eggs, I'd probably throw that in there, but I currently am using those in other locations in my house, so we're just going to go with the simplicity of this, and I'm going to set this right in the center. touch and that is going to be a beautiful little tray at the end of the bed here that could absolutely be utilized and just like take the decorative items off of it so I found this beautiful tray at at home and I, you know I hadn't gone in that store for quite some time and I really found some cool things and got the uh, little metal handles on here and the tin and the Florida Lee I'm just like yes I need that so we're gonna start by building our little decorative items here with this tray so the first thing I'm gonna incorporate into this is this book this particular book is called 1000 Gifts by Anne Voskamp. Beautiful book actually, but I'm incorporating it because it really matches the aesthetic. But yes, it also is a very great read if your guest should want to pick it up and read it. Then I have these farmhouse beads. I just really love the look of these. These particular ones are just like a natural material. I think I got these at Kirkland's. Then I have this cute little lavender sprig set here. I'm gonna set that back here. This adorable little egg and nest set I'm gonna set in the center. And then lastly, I have this really cute little um, ceramic tag thing here that you know your guests could even take if you wanted or if you wanted to buy them a gift and set this on it. I bought this at Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna set that in the tray.
guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this guest bedroom makeover, the little nod to French country that we did here today. I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's very cozy, it's very homey. It's got that nature element that I really enjoy. Stay tuned for more decorating videos coming at you very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and hanging out with me today. If you are new, welcome. I would love to have you here. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. It helps my channel grow immensely and I appreciate it and I thank you in advance for doing so. I hope you guys have nothing short of a fabulous day and come on back because we're going to be decorating again very soon. Bye guys.